I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. In fact, if you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is called Cold Water. And that is because right now there is a full moon at 26 degrees of Cancer, which is a water sign, and Jupiter is in that sign as well. The title, though, alludes to the fact that there could be somebody somewhere in your life, or maybe it could be you, that might be tempted to throw cold water on a project proposal or somebody's idea, or it can be that you're changing your mind about something and something that you thought was wonderful before isn't so great anymore, and maybe that's why you're going to be throwing cold water on it. So there can be a, a change of mind or a change of heart or a change of partnership right now due to some sort of career conflict or to some sort of legal challenge. And that's why somebody can be throwing cold water on something this week. And that can be uh, for very subtle reasons. First of all, uh, the full moon today, along with Jupiter, is being beautifully aspected by planets in other water signs. In fact, there are four planets in the water signs right now. The full moon and Jupiter. And remember, the moon rules Cancer, so it's very strong there. And Cancer rules our emotions and our homes and our families and real estate as well. And it's the sun sign of America and Canada. So those are two wonderful planets right there. And they are being beautifully trined by Neptune in Pisces. And Neptune is the ruler of the sign. It's very strong. And Pisces rules dreams. They're also being trined by Saturn in Scorpio. Saturn is a planet that makes you do things the hard way. But when you do earn a reward, you get to keep it for a very long time. And Saturn also can represent Sometimes it can represent delay or postponement, and it is in a financial sign, Scorpio. So there can be very scarce resources that can be allocated to people who feel like family to us. In other words, they can be co-workers, but they can be people that you get along with really well. Or it can be that scarce financial resources can be allocated to family members who really need it in order to make a dream come true. That would be fine. So the water signs, which do denote healing, since they are all in a grand trine, it simply means that we really understand our feelings. That is why people can be throwing cold water on a, a suggestion or an idea or a project right now as well, because maybe we're more in touch with our feelings than before the holidays, and maybe we don't quite feel the same way about everything. And so people can be changing their minds or coming at their own viewpoints and not being willing to see anyone else's viewpoint. Because there are two retrograde planets right now. One of them is Jupiter in Cancer. Unfortunately, it is opposing Venus, the other planet, a love planet, which is retrograde in Capricorn. Since both Jupiter and Venus are opposing each other and they're weaker because they're retrograde, it simply means that one of the reasons that we could be throwing cold water on something right now is because love is withdrawing. And that is because something that you thought was great or somebody that you thought was great before, maybe you're not so sold on them anymore. Maybe you have a reason for being, uh, for withdrawing your love or your support. So love is withdrawing and it can have something to do with career because Venus is in Capricorn and Capricorn rules uh, big business and government agencies. It could even have something to do with a government policy that you're not so crazy about anymore. Or it can simply be that family matters are more important than career matters right now. So one of them has got to go, and that is why love could be withdrawing. Another reason why, and a big reason why, people can be throwing cold water on something right now is because there are seven planets in cardinal signs all squaring and opposing each other. Cancer, where the full moon is today, is a cardinal sign, but remember it's being well supported by those other planets and water signs. However, it is being opposed along with Jupiter. It is being opposed by the Sun, Venus, and Pluto in Capricorn. And it's being squared by Mars in Libra, 
which denotes a possible breakup of a partnership or a legal challenge or dispute or lawsuit, or it can be that a contract has ended or there is some controversy about a contract. And also the full moon and Jupiter are being squared by Uranus in Aries, which can indicate someone who just wants to go off and do their own thing and be a little bit rebellious and may not want to toe the line, so to speak. And so they could have their own reasons for throwing cold water on somebody's suggestion or idea. Another reason why we can be looking at um, matters right now and perhaps cooling off a little bit on them is because of the position of two very important planets. What could they be? Well, they say that Mars rules men and Venus rules women. And remember, I mentioned that Mars is at in Libra and it is at 18 degrees of Libra. 18 is a number that when we reduce it, we add one and eight and that equals nine. Nine is the number of finishing. It's the highest of all the single digit numbers. And so that Mars exactly at 18 degrees of Libra, which could indicate that a partnership or a contract or a business matter could be finished. And that could be why people could be throwing cold water on something. They could be saying, no, you can't continue, you're done. Well, that planet is exactly squaring Venus, which is at 18 degrees of Capricorn. So Mars and Venus are in harsh aspect to each other. And I think what that means is that the thrill is gone. That somewhere in a relationship or a partnership or in a career choice, maybe you're not so crazy about somebody anymore, or maybe you're just not sold on a government program, or maybe you are not willing to put up with the way the management uh, has developed new policies, and maybe they don't agree with what you think is fair or balanced. Libra does rule fairness. And so the thrill is gone somewhere in our lives, and that is why there can be cold water thrown on something as well. Okay, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, I think that there is going to be a little cold water thrown on you somewhere. I don't think you're doing it, though, Aries, unless you feel like rebelling right now. But actually, the full moon and uh, Jupiter in Cancer are squaring your sun, the sun, Venus, and Pluto in Capricorn are squaring your sun, and that pesky Mars in Libra is opposing your sun sign where you have Uranus. So you can be subject to somebody whose love is withdrawing, and that could be in a career matter or a home matter, or it can simply be that there is some sort of legal challenge and you are involved in it in one way or another, or it could just simply be Aries, that somebody could throw cold water on some idea that you have, or even some vision that you have for a leadership role in the future. Maybe they can't afford it, and so maybe that's why cold water gets thrown on it. But I do think that you might not get everything that you want right now, Aries, because there are no planets in the fire signs, and so that means there's no fortification for your sign. However, if you get completely fed up and you want to rebel, then you could start over somewhere else because that's that's what you do best. However, I would urge you to sort of stick it out for right now because I don't think you have a lot of better choices. And that's not a good reason to stay where you are or in a relationship that doesn't thrill you anymore. But I do think that you should be pointed in a new direction first before you sort of jump off the deep end, Aries. So think about everything right now if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, that full moon in Cancer today is sextiling your sun, and Jupiter is sextiling it as well. And remember, Cancer does rule real estate. So there could be some good news about something rather expensive for your home, or maybe you're even thinking of a new home. And, and really, you could hear something good. Maybe the price would be right, or maybe you could find something that is very appealing to you. So there is the possibility of a move in your future, Taurus, and I think that it would be good for you, so I hope you do consider it. The other planets that are giving the full moon a little bit of trouble are the Sun, Venus, and Pluto in Capricorn, but Venus is your own ruler, and those three planets are trining your Sun. They, they are in a sign that rules long-term security, so your long-term 
security isn't being threatened. But on the other hand, Taurus, maybe you should look things over a little bit right now and certainly look at the fine print because Venus, your own ruler, although it is trying your sun, it is under heavy duress. And that means it's, it's retrograde, so it's weaker. It is opposing Jupiter, which means good things could leave or love is withdrawing. And it's being harshly squared by Mars, which means the thrill is gone. So you better take a little look at what your long-term security value is right now, because it could be subject to change. And that would be changing terms that you have nothing to do with. And that is why you'd better look things over a little bit more closely. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, that full moon today is right ahead of your sun sign. And so I think that you can be quite pleased with something in your home or with a family matter. And you can even be feeling pretty content about that right now, Gemini, which is wonderful. And since Mars in Libra is trining your sun, there is the possibility, Gemini, that if there was some sort of cold water thrown on a project, maybe because it's over now, or a proposal or some sort of deal doesn't go through, it can be that it opens up or provides some sort of opening for you, Gemini. You would just have to be very careful not to take sides in any controversy right now. And also, someone could be very disgruntled about a relationship. And if I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get involved right now because you could get a little weighed down by their problems. And they're not your problems, Gemini. So you need to be very discreet right now particularly since there is the possibility something in the future could open up for you. And that's especially if you are discreet, so I hope you are. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, the full moon is in your sun sign today. And that simply means there's an awful lot of light on you, Cancer. And because Jupiter is in your sign as well, you are being seen very well. In other words, in the full light of love and friendship that you are getting from a lot of friends and coworkers. And that's because there is a magical grand trine in water signs that is reinforcing your sign. And so you can be very emotionally satisfied with your friends and your family members. And you can be also financially secure or whatever scarce resources there are can be allocated in a way, you know, sort of prudently that you do approve of. So that's all fine. But because your sign is also a cardinal sign and Jupiter is retrograde in it, it simply means that Venus, which is also retrograde, is opposing it along with the sun and Pluto. So people in a corporation or in a government agency are making policies that I don't think you necessarily agree with now. You may have approved of them earlier, but now I think love is withdrawing. And it can simply be that if there is new management or a change in management, that they may not see you as well as your friends see you or as clearly. And so there can be a little parting of the ways there or you could just simply feel that you don't fit in anymore with newer people. And it could be because they are concentrating more on the bottom line than on people's feelings. And you are a person who is very sensitive to other people's feelings. And so this is a time when you can be feeling a little bit challenged. There's also the possibility of a lawsuit or a breakup in a partnership or something where the cold water gets thrown on it and it just doesn't happen even though you thought it had a good chance of happening. So either you're going to throw cold water on somebody because you really don't care for them anymore, or the thrill is gone, or you're, you don't approve of something anymore, or else somebody may throw cold water on something that you want to do. You're not causing a problem. The problem is, is that so many people have different viewpoints that they just can't get it all together right now. So I hope that you're satisfied with the love of your family and your friends because you really got it, Cancer, and that's why you're being seen in such a good light. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is simply a time when other people can be sort of going at it and they can be throwing cold water on something for their own private reasons. And it all boils down to whether somebody fits in well or whether they don't fit in well. And that's because we're all very sure of our feelings right now. Leo, all you have to do is just keep on going. And the reason why is that your sign is not being adversely affected by anything except the scarcity of resources. Saturn in Scorpio is squaring your sun sign. 
and Mercury in Aquarius is opposing it. And so you can be getting mixed messages about possible funding or credit or taxes, or it can simply be that not everyone's on the same page. And that might be why you just have to sort of put one foot in front of the other and keep going, Leo. I don't think that you are being personally challenged, but I don't think that it's too easy for you right now either. And that is because people are not communicating very well and there isn't really quite enough money to do everything you want. So you'll just have to be patient. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time with the Sun and Venus and Pluto in Capricorn trining your Sun. When management thinks a great deal of you, they really like you, Virgo, and that is because you are so steady and reliable, and you're not showy. Virgos don't like anything ostentatious, but they do like to be there when they're needed, and they like helping other people out, generally without any fanfare. And management really approves of that. And so I think that if there is some sort of cold water thrown on a project or some sort of proposal that doesn't quite make it, I don't think that that is going to adversely affect you at all, Virgo. And in fact, that could generate some sort of future opening that would allow you to be promoted or receive a raise. And so people's minds are changing on what they value. And as they see what they value, which is people who really do fit well in organizations or in families or in communities, those are the people that will be uh, liked and promoted more than others right now. So th it's, a, it's having a feeling of fitting and being together that is so important. And you really do fit in with management or with a large corporation or a government agency. So I think you've got a very bright future, Virgo. And I don't think you're gonna be involved in anybody's little heartache right now. You didn't cause it and you don't have the power to stop it either. So just keep working. All right, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, you have Mars in your sign for seven months. So you could be a little bit uh, quick to criticize other people who are, um, wanting to throw cold water on some sort of project or proposal or wanting to break up a partnership or just not wanting to get along and not wanting to be peaceful. Well, peace is what your middle name is, Libra. You like things sort of mellow, but people are not in the mood for that right now. And they do have a very good grasp of their feelings. They really do know, everybody knows who their friends really are. They also knew, know who their enemies are. And so with that full moon and Jupiter squaring your sun and the sun, Venus, and Pluto also squaring your sun and Uranus opposing your sun sign, I would say that there is the possibility that either you're going to throw cold water on somebody because the thrill is gone and you, you know, there's just no possibility of being peaceful with somebody anymore. And so maybe you are the one that's going to throw cold water on their plans or their desires or it can simply be that love is withdrawing right now. And it either is your love that is withdrawing or it's somebody else that is withdrawing. And so I think that you can be a little bit in a state of flux right now. And I would urge you just to proceed with caution, Libra, and take it slow. Because if you don't know where your next destination is, you might need to just stay where you are instead. Try to make the best of it. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a wonderful time for water signs, and that's because the full moon today in Cancer, well, along with Jupiter, is trining your sign where you have Saturn, and Neptune in Pisces is also trining your sign. So even with scarce resources, I think you probably do have the wherewithal or the funding to go ahead and try to make a dream come true. And you ought to do that, Scorpio. It doesn't mean you have to speed ahead and, and you can be very cautious and you can make modest progress, but it's definitely possible for you to go forward right now. And that is because you have the love and support of family members and of friends 
and they are willing to back you as and give you emotional or even financial support for making a dream come true. So this is a time when quite slowly you should just keep going, Scorpio, because you will be amazed at how much success you'll have by the end of the year when Saturn finally leaves your sign. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, there are a whole lot of people who, for reasons of their own, want to throw cold water on somebody or something, but you're not one of those people, Sagittarius. And that's because I think that you're always interested in, in what's out there. And right now, Uranus, although it is beleaguered in Aries, is trining your sun. So I think you should try to leave yourself open for some sudden new opportunity that could be coming your way, Sagittarius. Because a lot of other people are stymied or they're stuck or they refuse to compromise right now and love is withdrawing and the thrill is gone. So other people have a lot of problems right now, Sagittarius, and I think the only problem you've got really, besides maybe a credit problem, is that you wanna, you're looking for greener pastures or something new to do. So I'd keep looking if I were you. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is simply a time when I think with that full moon in Cancer and Jupiter there opposing your sun sign, that love is withdrawing. And that means either something you love is withdrawing, meaning that a family member can be moving on or going to a new location, or there could be a move coming up, or else the thrill is gone and you could be withdrawing because you don't feel the same way about someone anymore. It could also be that you don't feel the same way about a, a corporate policy or a government agency or some sort of law that you don't agree with anymore. Maybe you were a staunch advocate of it before, but the thrill is gone. And that is because Venus in your own sign is exactly squaring Mars in Libra. And that could denote some sort of legal challenge. If it isn't to you, then it's certainly to some sort of policy or, um, or um, rules that either you don't agree with or if you're trying to inflict them, someone else doesn't agree with them. So this can be a time when either you get a little cold water thrown on an idea of yours because there would be a delay or a lack of resources or somebody just doesn't want to you to succeed with that right now. So there could be some stumbling blocks or else you've had it with somebody and you are prepared to move on or you could even be prepared to sort of change partners right now because you're a little fed up with somebody. So there is tension in your life, Capricorn, and I urge you to just sort of proceed one step at a time and not overreact because I think there is some gonna be some cold water thrown somewhere in your life and you'll just have to bear with it if you can. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is a time with Mercury in your sign when you can be having a lot of bright ideas and they can be about money and that is because Saturn in Scorpio denotes scarce resources. It's very well aspected by the full moon today, but it is squaring your sun sign. And so there can be a mix up or some sort of confusion about financial terms. And either somebody is throwing cold water on a plan of yours because uh, there isn't enough money for it, or else you can be throwing cold water on somebody because you just uh, feel that your ideas are the right ones and that everyone should listen to you instead. And that's not really true. Mars in Libra is training your son, Aquarius. You can attract people who can be very stirred up right now and they may ask you to join them in their cause. It would only bring trouble, Aquarius. Be careful that what you're really looking for is your future, not your past. And you leave the past alone right now, Aquarius, because even without enough money, your future is what it holds the most promise for you. So I hope you keep going forward, even if it's just by yourself. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, I don't think anyone is throwing cold water on you. And the reason why is that there's only one planet in a mutable sign, and it's 
Neptune in your sign, and it is being beautifully trined by the full moon and Jupiter in Cancer, and also by Saturn in Scorpio. So this is an optimum time for you to make a dream come true, and I think you're going to get some help with that, Pisces, and the reason why is that full moon with Jupiter in Cancer denotes a very kindly woman who could be willing to help you out right now. It may be somebody who's sort of motherly or somebody who knows a lot about real estate because there could be a matter concerning a home or a family situation that could work out quite well for you right now, Pisces. And there is nothing stopping you. There are no planets in any of the other mutable signs squaring or opposing yours. So have faith and just take a deep breath and really go for something right now, Pisces, with the help of somebody else who's very nurturing and understanding. They particularly understand you rather well. So I hope that you're listening to others and that you do trust them right now as you enjoy the the love and faithfulness of people who are willing to give you emotional and financial support. We do all understand our feelings right now. That's why some people are going to be throwing cold water on ideas that they used to like but they don't like anymore. Or they can be because the love is gone or the thrill is gone. And so we just have to live through a period of time when things are changing and accept that. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week right here for Starborn. And remember, you can see the show anytime you want and subscribe to it on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.